Morning, everybody. It is show time. Right? Yeah. Guys, my GPS is horrible up here. No, for some reason, I was trying to tell you when it was on the green arrow. For some reason, it don't work right. It's like turn lock riff, right? Let, 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 uh, no. no yeah, 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 not uh, 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 yeah. It's not my fault when the road splits four ways. <laughs> it, uh, it is weird up here. She just let me try to drive home last night. Oh, you're with me. All right, well, anyways, it's show time. We're headed to the Mid America Truck Show. We are set up like right, right, or no, straight, like straight ahead, not that slightly turn degree. Oh, so we're going this way. Yeah, we're going. Dude, I kept getting, like last night trying to get home, I kept going. Are you sure? Yeah. I kept going uh, on to the. Uh, there's a Jimmy John's. That's where we're getting lunch today. Um, I kept going down the wrong ways. I was like, what the heck is going on? So anyways, guys, truck's all set up. We're headed. Today is day number one of the show. Let's see what happens, how it goes. We'll see you guys when we get there. All right, guys, so we got the show started. We just got something to eat. And we finally got our first YouTuber to come by to visit us. All right, we're gonna try to get some reactions to uh, the truck, see what they think. Weston will be here tomorrow, we'll get his reaction, and uh, that's what I'm really worried about. I, you know what, I know you're just looking for my reaction, but how I feel about it, I, I think he's gonna be impressed. Like, see, I think it looks great, but I'm not a peak. Freightliner girl. No. Get him right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. But, so that's why I did the Ginworth doors in it. I know. I actually, I like that because, like, this is... You go to sleep wait, in wait, the wait. Hey, this would be the best grocery getter. That's what I call my pickup truck. You know, now you got, you got the back doors and all of that. Like, you see in it? I have not seen it. Seats, oh, yeah, we're, we just got it together. Oh, okay. Literally, I pulled in here with 10 minutes to spare. Yeah. Uh, so, you got to go in the front. And okay. I ain't got the steps in it yet. You got to see the recliner. Okay. okay. I'm so short. This is nice. Can you imagine just riding down the road, just chilling? And I, it's like the perfect, like, you lay back just a little bit, and there's a perfect spot for a TV screen here, but I don't know if I could focus on a movie with you driving. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you, you can't. <laughs> no. I love it. This is so cool. I love the doors. Like this. So everybody was all freaked out about the Genward doors, and I'm like, guys, just give it a chance. See what it does. And, and like, see, you got the daytime door, plus, you know, like your truck has got yeah. the where you kind of look at window? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that actually is one of my most favorite things. When I drove a T880 and I didn't have that hole in the door, yeah. I was like, this is stupid. Throw it away. I need the, I need the sight window. And that's what, I, like, I wish my Peterbilt had those windows in it. I yeah. absolutely love them. I mean, okay, this one. Yeah, but this, so this is a 389. Rooster's a 379. It's got one, but it's a little square one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this has got a big daytime window in it, but this is 389 doors on a 379. Okay, yeah. I like the window. It's, I feel like it's something that, it just helps a lot. So finishing my truck, obviously, like I have that spot there with the, the spot mirror that angles down right yeah. next to you. And I, I never look at it. And so when they- Are you gonna take it off? Yeah, they, so I, my new door came and it has the holes and they were like, well, do you wanna move that mirror over to the new door? And I was like, no, no just leave it off. Like, it's just, I was like, I'm pretty sure it's broken anyway. And they're like, like they last, you know? Like, no, it's intact. And I was like, oh, well, I don't think I've ever looked at it. <laughs> well, I've, I've never looked at them either. Yeah. They all come off my trucks. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I used it for, and this is this is kind of sad because I'm driving in Seattle, is to make sure that there wasn't any homeless people climbing up on my truck. <laughs> yeah, so. So Dominic still hasn't got her truck back yet, but she's no. working on it. She's yeah. She's coming soon, hopefully. Yeah, I 
the theory was that when I got back from Matt's that it would be it would be back and I could take it for a drive and hook up to my trailer. I don't I don't know if it'll be ready by Monday, but I, I do know that I have to hook up to my trailer and air my trailer back up and get on the road and make sure that with my trailer sitting for now four months that there's no wheel seals leaking, I don't have any air leaks, anything that's like oh, you know, yeah. just shown up yeah. mm -hmm. with it just sitting there. So um, you can't move it around because you saw that other truck too. Yeah, um, yeah. The only thing I could do with that one was air it up, but uh, I wouldn't be able to check the hydraulics. But yeah, so it's just been sitting for four months. And so, if you still had the other truck, would you be using it right now? I think. Or? Um. So the the people that I normally work with in uh, construction do the heavy haul typically, and so I very rarely go anywhere without my trailer, and it's like a whole different set of people that you get work from that do typical so so, we, call, we call it solo and uh being that it's been the middle of winter and it's been so slow it would be really hard to get to the top of new people's lists to get work you know i'm sure that there would be like one-off times that i would get to but it wouldn't be anything steady um, thank you. it's so crazy seeing you pull that big old pup around is that what yeah, you call it pup trailer pup trailer yeah yeah, well, I told you when you come out, you, well, I'll let you do it. Um, I think I'd fall in love with it. It's So I, I just did a, a podcast, and I was telling him about the first time I ever pulled a pup trailer and how it was like coming home, and it just was, I knew that I found my truck. Like, the because I feel like every driver, like, although you love trucking and you have, like, a great time, there's this one type of truck and trailer or like if you're a class b driver like that you know that you just fall in love with and you're like this is where i belong and that's what happened when i pulled up for the first time that's awesome yeah i, I can't wait to do it i really can't yeah this I is have... gonna be so dump trucks i told you before dump trucks make me nervous because i've had yeah. some pretty which i'm in the heels too though yeah so there's been times where i've been you know up on the bed you know riding up a hill trying to get to come back down and mm -hmm. Front tires off the ground. I broke the motor mounts, the transmission out of my truck. Uh, I've broken some motor mounts. Uh, People yeah. don't get when you got that much weight on a dump truck. It's it's a whole different feeling. Yeah, it really is. It's um, there's there's so many things that can go wrong and so many mistakes that can happen. You're going places that aren't necessarily built for trucks, and you know it's not some place you should be. And then also you get to go places that are designed not to have trucks, also because every you know everywhere needs you know concrete. go to a new construction, yeah, a new construction site. site you know you need uh how many times have i driven over a curb to get into a new construction site to build the site entrance you know and that's a lot of weight to go over a curb yeah i know and we we do it somebody has to get in there with the material to get the like it's not started yeah get it yeah get it going get it started get the rock in there um it's there's just so many things that can go wrong and it's not a matter of like if something's gonna go wrong it's when yep so. oh that's what worries me like pulling these boats and stuff all the time so dominique i'm glad you come by you want to go yep. look at the rest of the truck yeah i haven't got steps yet for you to get out up there so you have to come back out the front but... that's okay this is the door i'm used to coming in yeah it's weird having four doors yeah it's so weird It's, they're just clean new. It's a little different than what you're used to. We got a Cummins. Yeah. I'm, I'm a cat girl, but I've definitely driven my fair share of Cummins. I really like the color of the frame. So yeah, so this is like, see the blue sparkle in it? Oh yeah, I didn't even, I didn't look that close yeah. to see that. So like out in the sunlight, the frame, it looks, it's got this blue glow to yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So four states sent those to us, and I was going to paint. I got like six or seven bolts on this whole truck. I got to finish painting, uh -huh. and I was like, I just didn't have time. So. Yep. Yeah. So you got to do those. I've got to paint this blue. Um, a couple bolts up here. I got to take this cap off and paint that, and then down there. Um, a couple on the back of the sleeper, and then like, yeah. There we're gonna. I'm putting new breathers on it, different breathers. Uh -huh. This is as budget build as it gets. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think it you doesn't look like it. It don't look like it, but it, it is. It's it. definitely budget. It does not look like it. Yeah. Are you going to tell anybody or are we just going to... I think I'm going to make a video um, okay. kind of going over it after... You and your secrets? Yeah. How much is a new truck? Like this truck new in 98 was probably 120000 what are they now? I don't. Three hundred. Really? For just a tractor. Just a tractor, like a, if you went bought a Peterbilt three eighty nine tractor, you would spend three hundred thousand dollars. Oh, I, I thought they were way cheaper. No. No, like you could go get like a Freightliner or something about two hundred, but if you go buy a Peterbilt, like if you went to buy this right here now, three hundred thousand. Okay. And, yeah, um, a new truck and pop is like four fifty. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Yeah, it is. It's half a million dollars. Oh, what? I know. That's why I don't have a brand new one. <laughs> I don't. Have, I don't have that kind. I don't of think you would be happy with a brand new one. I don't think. Uh, I wouldn't buy it for myself. It'd be for somebody else, right? It'd be kind of nice to have a new truck for uh, like putting. Like if in you could get a glider. Yeah, but you can, yeah, yeah. Because that whole. I think your truck's super reliable and yeah, it's a great it truck. Is, it's it got a good reliable. motor in it, good transmission. Yeah. Like if I wanted a dump truck, that's the dump truck I'll, I want. I, I love that truck. Like I'm jealous. I, I'm jealous. <laughs> I love that truck. <laughs> I, uh, it was such a lucky like find. It was a truck that was owned by somebody that I knew that like I wasn't like directly connected to him, but I knew the former driver and I knew that he'd gone into uh, hauling logs and the truck had been sitting and I just hit him up. I was like, what are you doing with that truck? Or, you know, he's a park. What do you, what do you got going? And um, he didn't even, like, hesitate. He's like, if you want, if you want a 140 grand truck and pub. How much? 140. Dang. Yeah. I have to think about it. Like, that's, it had 400,000 miles on it, and it had just had an in frame 50,000 miles before that. Uh, it's, that's a lot of money. Yeah. It is, but you know, the only trucks that I found, so after dealing with all of the accident stuff, the only trucks that I found that were in similar condition, because people don't take pride in their trucks anymore, and I found one truck with similar miles that was in better condition for, like versus like what my truck was in, and just the truck was 160. And that was like, you know- No pub. Yeah. No. How much is a pub? Um, a used one now, like similar to mine, is like fifteen to thirty grand, depending on its overall condition and maintenance and whatever. But the when you buy a new truck and pub, a hundred thousand dollars goes to the pub trailer, uh, so it's three hundred and fifty for the dump truck and then hundred thousand for the pub trailer. That's crazy. Yeah. That's a lot of money. So that's about like you'd spend three hundred on a truck like this to yeah. buy like a new one. And bring it. I just what I was thinking though is that, I, and I understand the sleeper and all that. I was what I was thinking is that these would be quite a bit cheaper, and that it's not only like fifty thousand dollars, but then you, know, you take the sleeper away and that kind of stuff. Um, so I know it's not only fifty thousand dollars. Well, you wouldn't think dump truck. so. You you're thinking on a dump truck, you're buying a day cab, double frame truck. Mm -hmm. Um, with a dump bed on it. So I mean, the you go to the dealership and you pick out the truck you want, and then they uh, send it to get the, a bed put on it. Yeah, and and obviously like you you get to pick your bodybuilder like whoever you want to use. There's um, you know OSW, uh, which is the company East. now. They bought out um, Sturdy Wall, which is a company that built. Uh, or no, they didn't buy it out. I think that they started. Like, I think the people that started Sturdy Weld, one of them broke off and started OSW or something like that. And then Sturdy Weld's still in business, but they're, like, uh, owned by another company out in Oregon. And then another company that I'm looking into that builds the bodies the way that I like them, the Northwest style, is K-Line out of British Columbia. Yep. Yes, yeah, so they have some I've heard of it. Is that why you went to Canada? No, I went up to go see uh, Chase at Edison Motors. I, oh, okay. Right. Yeah, he, his Edison Motors is like at his mom's house. And uh, I get up there and he was in a meeting downstairs, like on the phone. And I get there and I pull up and I park. He knew I was coming. It was like 9.30 in the morning. And I get 
out and a, a dog comes rushing out, he left the front door ajar for me. Like, I was like, this is very Canadian. <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Like, yeah, some random girl from the internet's coming over. Front door's ajar. Come on in. Yeah. That is crazy. Yeah. I like what the guys are doing. They're pretty me cool. Me too. Uh, I, so I don't, I'm not big on the electric trucks, me but neither. I, uh, I get behind what, what they're doing. Yeah, the diesel. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I got to have a diesel motor. Yeah. I've got well, to. it's too dangerous to go out and run just off electricity uh, and not have any way home if, if like, the weather gets bad or... Things go wrong. Yeah. Or, like, you know, like, in, in the snow and ice, like, you slide off the road and how long do you have, how much power do you have? Like, how long is it going to last? Like, are you going to freeze to it? Like, I don't know. I, I'm, there's so many things. Or, like, the freeway gets shut down and you're, like, parked on the freeway and your truck's electric and uh run out of battery like, and yeah you're, how long how long is your battery gonna last because they don't last that long especially when you're hauling a full load of freight and you're running heat and, mm-hmm. like with me i'm always on e like yeah. i'm an e person yeah so like you know i push my truck to the limit i know i'm like i know my truck you yeah. know like i know hey i'm gonna make it to this fuel station barely if i hit the brakes too hard mm-hmm. she's gonna lose prime and you know one of those deals so I'd be on E on the charge, and then. Um, I think it was at the, the, the charge on these electric trucks. I think up with a full load, I think the most they've gotten is not it like nine miles or something like yeah, that. Yeah, nothing. Like, yeah, they don't get real far. So and then they're, they're trying to, so and like, the only videos you're getting is like, oh, to pull this mountain, but it's dead by the time you get the top. So no, I'm excited about all that. But guys, we're gonna finish up with Dominique here. We got, well, we got the block, the back blocked up. It, it looks really good. I like it. I was excited watching uh, Marita, all the pictures and everything. Yeah, there's so many people like I can't believe you're here. I can't believe we're here. Yeah, no, I, I, I know how I, you work like I do. Yeah, all like, the time. Yeah, like I'll work, I'll work it. Uh, I'll get this done if it kills me. So yeah. <laughs> yep. And it almost did. There's a few times I'm like, I don't know if the body's going to hang on much longer, but we're gonna. See, I think I took a few years off my life, but it's worth it. I'm not happy. I think being any kind of entrepreneur, uh, your, your life is shortened uh, from the stress of the things you put yourself through, for sure. Yeah, for sure. But, guys, so we're going to um, – I'm going to try and see if we get some time. So we do have Rooster out here. I'd like to see uh, Dominic drive Rooster, see um, – so we got Rooster turned up right now. I turned it up since we were coming to the show. You never know what's going to happen. You run up, a, you know, one of those massy trucks on the road or something. In case I did, I, you know, want to make sure I had plenty in the pedal. So since she's up here, we might get him out later and uh, see if she can handle that big, big monster. I don't, maybe He's I can't, pumping maybe out I some can't. juice. You're going to be like, damn, you're going to turn my truck up now. I, you know, I, I want my truck to have like more, a little more torque. I really don't need to be any faster because there's times, especially like when I'm heading home, and You're like so I like I I'll be working all day and I I have this like visual in my head because I know exactly when this happens. It's like the sun is coming down, it's like low in the sky, and the music is blasting. It's warm outside. Both the windows are down, and I'm empty and I'm on my way home. And I look down and I'm going 75 miles, an hour, and I'm like, because oh, the speed limit for trucks is 60. <laughs> Oh, no, I've got caught many times in Washington yeah. um, speeding. Like, I've got two tickets in Washington. I've got rid of them. Yeah. Got yeah, a good lawyer, but, yeah, I've gotten in trouble. And they got cameras out there, too, like crazy. Uh, yeah, not like, really, like, speed like, cameras, like, in, like... Like, Seattle, school. I got... Yeah. They got me in Seattle one time on a speed camera. Um, yeah. I guess the nice thing about Washington, though, is, like, the regular state patrol is probably not going to do anything about yeah. me speeding. These are not going to try and pull me over and mess with me at all. But... The uh, cities and counties? No, they don't even know. Uh, the it's only the DOT cops that are gonna do anything. But the chicken coop is right by my house. Yeah. Like I oh, you have to go. It, yeah. No, I uh, it's, yeah. I, I get off before it to go to my house. But they're they could be going there, you know, or like they could be, you know, doing stuff uh, all around. What's up, buddy? Um. If you want to, you can send me a truck line and take a picture. Really? Yeah. yeah. But, um... I love the kids. Yeah, me too. Uh, we've got... Sweet brother. Yeah. Like, I got pulled in there. I went down, like, south to go get uh, a roll, And then I was 
going north and I and I drove past it in the morning and no I'm thinking like I'm yeah. empty. I'm like I was like exactly on time and I'm empty and it's you know six o'clock in the morning, they're not gonna do anything and then they wave me in for an inspection. It's like take come around and I'm like <laughs> and I get in there with my stuff and he, and I was like, What's up? Why and he's like, Oh, you haven't been inspected while well, I've never been inspected. It was just a paperwork thing. It just slowed me down, made me late, but did you pass though? Oh yeah. That's good. Man, I can tell you, I get so mad when we fail inspections, but here lately, guys have been doing good. We've been passing inspections and yeah. see I get about three or four a week. Yeah. Every week. So Well they don't usually to be honest, they don't usually When I had one truck trucks. I never had to worry about it. Yeah, well they don't really bother with the dump trucks because uh, we don't we're not usually we, our paperwork is very minimal. You know, it's your your license, your registration, and your insurance card. So like, that's as it. long as you're not like with me, I, like if I'm pulling by the way, nine times out of ten, the OT don't want to see me because I'm gonna be twice as heavy as it's supposed to be. But yeah, oh, I, uh, I'm just that kind of guy, I guess. Yeah, I gotta break the rules a little bit. In that aspect, I was empty. You know, I was. So you didn't have nothing to worry about. Yeah. So and I don't usually have anything to worry about because normally you're getting loaded in the pit and it's like pretty on the money. The asphalt plant is like by the ounce on the money. They are like. On oh, there's it. Yeah. like the two pits I deal with now. Like, I can go, like, you can see some of my old videos. I get so mad. I'll pull in there, and they'll only give me so much weight. And I'm like, come on. Like, I'm going two miles down the road. It's my gravel. She's like, nope, you got to yeah, be they, legal coming out of here. They uh, they started cracking down on the pits, so that's part of it. And you have, you have to understand what they have to go through. It's pretty cool to mount some TVs, like, up there. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what we're probably going to do is put some TVs in it and some speakers and all that good stuff. And, Back and be able to yeah, them recline back. You push a button, they just <laughs> they massage you and everything. Heck yeah! Oh, you over here signing autographs? <laughs> you signing autographs, honey? Say, I give kisses. Oh yeah, she's good at that. <laughs> she likes to kiss on people. Oh. She's a mess. She's got a personality like no other. <laughs> all right guys so it is 10 a.m they're just now opening the gates up here show's getting started all everybody's showing up oh look who it is damn pretty what's up buddy dude my back is killing did i, I do something I crazy last night no no you just wore out brother you've been putting in the hours oh no baby she's coming on baby it is <laughs> well i woke up this wide open this morning six o'clock just could not go back to sleep i looked up i was seeing it wasn't dark outside and i was like no all right guys so this gentleman come in yesterday and um so he kind of went through the same kind of stuff i did with his panic stuff and anxiety and all that so he got through it started a trucking company really touching actually what he done so today he brought us in some shirts and some hats check them out Rex. Um, but for me to find a flex fit hat that fits me is like so rare and somehow you nailed it. So he's like, I would like to have one of your hats or whatever. So I'm going to give him my baby. I've had this hat for a long time. I mean, it's my blood, sweat and tears in this hat, literally. So we're going to sign this hat. And, uh, i give you a clean one too. You're probably not going to wear this just, What you do for everybody in the community and the trucking is so great because you show the people the real side of trucking not what people want you to see well, that's why a lot of people hate on us because we do show the real side of right and, and because of what you have shown over the years i followed you it's made me believe and trust that i can build something from nothing yep. and still continue to grow you get the struggle and get, that's what i don't like a lot of youtube channels you watch it looks like they're rich and you got and it, people are just like man i'll never get that i'll never be able to get there i'll never get that how did they get all this money and i just I want to show the real, real life. Right. You Every know? day, you know. Because it ain't like that. Yeah, you do get aware of things and get awesome things, and and you make it a lot better. You know, you can make a lot of money doing it, trucking, but you can also screw up big time. Right? Exactly. You can run your life. You know, you're doing Every it. day is a decision of how you run and how you make your life best. And every day I make it to where I make sure that if the truck isn't moving, we've got an issue. The truck's got to move, whether it's the best freight in the world or not the greatest freight in the world. Something will get you to somewhere. 
I love what you do. Thank you. I will continue to watch you. Let me sign this one too. The end of time. See how good you do at this. Yeah. Hey, I'm just. We're, hey, we're making it happen. This, this is the first <laughs> one right here. We're going out. We're hanging out with Jake. Oh, check out his hoodie. Yeah, yeah check man, it out. That's the real deal. Yes, sir. How's that? That's cool, that man. That is awesome. That is cool, man. That is All cool. right. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing? Hey, hey, how are you going? Where should I sign? Where do you want me to sign? No, Pfizer. No, no, what's your YouTube? Oh. How about you, YouTube? Yeah, no, thank you for that. How you doing, brother? I appreciate yeah. you for that. Yeah, this is so cool. We got Bruce. We got Tommy. Brian down there. This is cool. This is cool. What's going on? Got yeah, yeah, he's out in the parking lot. Parking yep, lot. yep. Shout out video. <laughs> yep. If you go out there, it's parked right next to Bruce, um, where the uh, RGN and uh, the green FCR truck is. Okay. Right out there. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna pass this down the line here. What's going on, bro? How you doing? Good, good, good. We might as well just keep on going with this. Huh? Right on. We're having fun. Hey, yo, buddy. No, I appreciate you. How you doing, buddy? Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thanks, man. I love it. Keep watching you a lot. Yeah, we appreciate you so much. Thank you, brother. How you doing, man? How's that? Good. Good. He's hanging out, right? Yeah. Yeah, what's doing? Trucking. Yeah, we know, that. Yeah, we know that. This is slow, then. It's there. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, we're going to get this thing going. 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 Yeah, we're going to Boys, this guy's this boy's 15 years old. Jim got his wallet out. He's gonna buy it himself. That's what I'm talking about. You guys probably remember from last year, but every year I try to get him on camera, and uh, we're trying to get him to come down to the house and do a video. Okay, yeah, that looks good. He's blushing. <laughs> That's awesome. Seriously though, I hope I hope to see you guys. Um, he's work back. Oh, they're running this side. Brack's over here hustling. Oh, he's on he's it. He's doing a good job. Did he make a sale? He did. How much did you sell, Brax? Dang. <laughs> You're kidding, boy. All right, guys. Brandon's been here with us all day today. Having a great time. Are you excited? We pulled it off, bro. This is awesome, dude. I, I, I can You called me. What well, you called me Saturday night? This past Saturday night, you said, "Hey, can you come up Monday and do some polishing and buffing?" I was like, "Sure." So I drive three hours to polish and buff on this thing, and there's ten people rolling around. I'm stepping over them, stepping on them, <laughs> yeah. climbing over them, and I'm sitting here thinking in the back of my mind, I'm like, "There is no way you guys are going to have this thing at the show," and I'll be dang here we are. So. Dude, so awesome. many people. I, some guy told me earlier he lost five thousand dollars. Him and his oh, buddy was gonna be here. Yep, they bet yeah. five thousand dollars. I got a guy bet me forty thousand dollars. Dude, I'm I'm just super excited. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for Weston and everybody that took part of this thing. And this is this is awesome. The interiors top notch. I mean, I you know when you brought it to me, it was just a shell, so it was hard for me to picture what was gonna happen here, but. Man, it's just been pieced together perfectly. I can, you couldn't you couldn't ask for much better. Well, you know how many changes I made up there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in between there and here, I probably made about ten or fifteen more of those changes. Like in the interior, like oh, let's change this, let's change that. Yeah. Like it's. Uh, well, it's it's very impressive, man. And I saw all the comments. I read all the comments. There's no way you're gonna be at mass. Blah blah blah. Well, here here it is, man. It's it's a showstopper, dude. People people are stopping and looking right, checking it out, and uh, there's some beautiful trucks here. I mean, there's awesome trucks, but man, this one here is uh, yeah, it's, it's been a showstopper. Guys, it's been awesome. We've I mean, literally, we're about sold out of most of our shirts. Um, people have been here all day. There's lines everywhere. Yep, hats, shirts. brand has been here running back and forth, taking pictures and talking to fans and. Like everybody's been wanting to talk to you about your paint, so yeah, it's super cool getting to meet everybody. That's you know, I've, I've not done any of this YouTube stuff, so all you guys that have seen me have stopped in and said hi. I thought that was really awesome, and for all the people, for all the awesome positive comments, that means a lot to me, and uh, I appreciate all the all the positivity. And and the, and the same goes to Tim. You know, he's he's kicked his butt on this thing, man, and all these guys have. So um, he really appreciates all the positivity as well. Oh yeah, that's what it's all about, positivity. And we're just trying to show the world that, guys, you can take a negative and turn it into a positive. 
be happy. You ain't got to fight and argue and talk down to each other. Right. Anything's possible. So, man, you got some, you got some good teamwork. Heck and, yeah. And the thing I like about Tim, man, and I and I told these guys this about you. You know, you're you're good to everybody, and, and and when you're good to people, if you're always good to people, no matter how bad you go, stuff you go through, when you're good to people, it always comes back around. Yes, and, it and it's cool to see that you've got people here that's that's helped you, and and. We've all got together and put a little piece of our time into this project. Oh, it's a, this team awesome. that we put together for this is the ultimate truck building <laughs> team. It's awesome. And just imagine what's coming, guys. There's a lot more coming in the future. So just hang on, guys, and we're going to have a good time. But Brandon's getting ready to leave us. been so awesome having him here today. And thank all y'all for, for showing him love because he really did. Him and his brother, Pop Notch guys. Sure, and this little man over here helped us sand the frame down. Is that exciting to see it after you sand the frame? So, and uh, so this is Zach. Uh, uh, right, so Kendall. Yep. Kendall. Yep. So if you guys remember in the video from Fitzgerald where we were sanding the frame, he was the one helping sand the frame. So, uh, it's so awesome. Yeah. All right, let me get your opinion on the truck now. When I'm not coughing, that'd be a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry about well, that. Give me a minute. I can't take all the credit. It's us. We all. It's well, okay. all the team. It, it was a team. A big team. It was. A, it was. This is a team built truck, man. That's cool as can be. I appreciate it though. Yeah, I talked to you here last year. Yep, I remember. You're down in Tennessee. Yeah. Uh, I was trying to think of where it was. Yeah. In fourteen. Standing over here looking at just this angle right here. You can see the whole reflection of the whole rest of the truck right in that paint job. I mean, it's literally like a mirror. I don't know how good it comes out on video, but there's not a yeah, you know, video does field. its truck no justice. Nothing. That's absolutely amazing. That's all I've heard today is the video does its thing no justice. Now, what I can't wait to see in the future is what this blue looks like. Oh, when you take it out in the sun, sunlight. you see blue. Like, it's pretty much a blue frame. Because right here, looks like a nice blue line in that right there. It's from the lighting that's in the building. So that's the first thing I could pick up on. So it's a win? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> the amount of time it took to get everything done, like, you know, to this level, all of it. It didn't take, well, how do I work that? Sorry, you have to work on that editing today. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it took a long time to get everything together and make it all come together. But once we got first everything, of, well, I feel yeah, like... I mean, think about it. First of all, how much of this stuff burnt up in the fire that he had to replace? Everything right? but this cab and sleeper and engine and transmission. Right. So the last time I saw it was when we brought it up to... up brought the old... The, the last time we saw it was when we brought it up to Rob's with your white cab over. Yeah. That was just the frame. And now look at it. It's insane. You guys did a tremendous amount of work in an absolute short amount of time. And it took between uh, Fitzgerald Collision Repair with the paint job, SH2 with all the stainless. And all this is one, a lot of it, say all of it, but a lot of it is one off stuff. It is, yep. So no, I'm like, super, you know, I'm, I'm so happy with it. I'm glad everybody else likes it. And... Yeah, it fought you to the absolute end. I was watching your live. Well, you guys are like zombies trying to figure out getting that throttle pedal fixed up. Yeah. And then here you go. Ten minutes to spare. Ten minutes. And you got it, and you got it in the booth. Yeah, we were six hours ahead of schedule, and then and anyway, there's some things we got to finish. Like you know, we still got to put the blow by tube on it, and there's little things, guys. Fan shroud. I mean, we got it here. It runs and drives. Um, it makes me miss my 379. It could go the more to I work. get around one, it really makes me miss my old 379. That's what it does too. The mirror brackets on this thing. Yep. I mean, that's 389 mirror brackets. Who uh, thinks of that? Man, I just but I wanted I is. wanted it simple. I wanted it I wanted it to be able to withstand Weston. I don't want him to be able to shut his door and the mirrors get out of adjustment. 379 pro. You know, I wanted it to be something he could enjoy last and it stay together and we can take it to truck shows. He can use it, he can work it. But still, we got a nice truck. We, we started it. off at one hell of a platform, the 379. Okay. It is a tough unit. And there you go. Fully customized, ready to ride. Well, brother, I appreciate you coming out and hey, no being a part of it and uh, being supportive. And 
dealing with the train station on the channel. <laughs> and, um, but guys, we got to go to a meeting. We got the, I mean, the truck's here. It's done. And we got a lot more reactions to go. Weston will be here tomorrow. And I uh, hope you guys are ready for it.